I think one of the defining aspects of working on Hardline was really when we discovered the game mode heist. I mean, I think when you think cops and robbers, what's the first thing you think of? Robbing a bank. I mean, it seems obvious, right? So we were working on a mode that, that tried to capture kind of the action movie essence of robbing a bank. And we landed on the mode Heist. We tried a lot of different things. And one day we played a version of Heist, which is uh, very similar to the one we have now, where there are two bags and a singular vault. And you broke in, you got the bags, and you escaped to two points. And we played that. And we just had the most epic shootout ever. And it was a great, great amount of fun. And we thought, OK, there's the core of what Heist is. And Hotwire, we basically started with kind of a core vision statement, which is High Speed Pursuit. I think you can see that reflected in the mode today. The first thing you think is, oh, it should be asymmetric. The cops should always be chasing the criminals. But it turns out that that's not as much fun as you might think. A lot of people want to be able to choose whether they're pursuing or being the pursued. And that's one of the reasons why Hotwire is currently symmetric. Both sides are trying to capture the cars. I really think that the fast pace and the high speed of many of the mechanics in Hardline contributes to increasing the tension and the immersion for players. Being able to, to make a uh, series of interesting decisions really quickly uh, really ratchets up your investment, ratchets up your tension. And when you pull it off, when you manage to actually make all the right decisions and achieve that goal, it's satisfying like almost nothing else. I really like the idea that, that players can change the map or change the board, and again, allowing them to get the drop on opponents or to do something unexpected, whether it's opening a route or closing a route or changing lines of sight or changing the way the infantry path works versus the vehicle paths, creating new vehicle ambush spots or maybe exposing infantry to new threats. I think th these are really interesting mechanics and, and things that gamers haven't seen a lot of in current games. Typically, Cops and Robbers isn't about the 800 meter headshot from a prone sniper in a ghillie suit, right? That's not your usual engagement. It's much more personal. It's more about those medium range engagements or the high speed car chases or, or things of this nature. So we're moving more to like the 20, 30 meter range versus the 100, 800 meter range or whatever it might be. So we're bringing back the classic mode of capture the flag or the uh, AAG. A lot of these ideas were, were kind of all part and parcel of the way we are thinking about approaching this to kind of the theme for Endgame. That idea of the classes kind of having that rock, paper, scissors balance that encourages teamwork where you're going to be much more successful if you work together than if you work alone. And I love the depth and complexity of this system. It's, it's really appealing to me both as a gamer and as, as a designer.